Is that you, Apprentice? Excellent. You've arrived safely on Balmora, I see. Now, I hope you're ready to work. I've got a good idea of where the ancient artifact is on Balmora, but it's not pleasant. You mean like a rancor with a rash, or...? You have a vivid imagination, Apprentice. Tulak Horde hid his artifact in a vault on Balmora, one that was later converted by the Balmorans into a toxic waste storage facility. But the vault was hit badly in the last war. It's now a crater filled with toxic waste. Your artifact is at the bottom. I'll just get some diving gear and go. If only it were that simple. I'm afraid the waste would kill even you, my apprentice. But try making contact with the Imperial Resources Officer here on Balmora, Major Bessica. Bessica knows the planet, and he may even have a few good ideas. I sincerely doubt it. Those who succeed without the Force make up for what they lack with a certain resourcefulness. Don't write Bessica off. The Empire has its hands full, coping with a violent Balmoran uprising. Officially, they're a grassroots militia. Secretly, they have the Republic's full backing. I've informed Major Bessica of the Republic's involvement, so he'll be better equipped to assist you. No doubt the Republic's hands will get in your way. Why is the Republic's involvement a secret? At the end of the last war, the Treaty of Coruscant left Balmora to the Empire. The Republic cannot risk open involvement without violating the Treaty. But the war is secondary to the artifact. Retrieve the artifact and try to be discreet. We don't want the entire Sith Order chasing our prize. There's something of great value in one of the hazard vaults. The one that was blown open. I heard you could help. Ah, who's this? Sith. We don't often get Sith on Balmora. It's a real pleasure. I have a son on Korriban, you know. It's a tough war you're walking into. We're fixing blasters with adhesive tape. But we'll help you any way we can. Now, oh, let's see. A blown open vault. Hmm. Uh, Captain, do we still have those pumps? Sir, if this is the vault I think it is, it won't be that easy. The fumes alone have put men in the medical center. Do we have anything else we can work with? We need some way to make this pit less deadly. Tell me, Captain, is there nothing that can survive the toxic waste? Well, nothing grows there, sir. But there are the colicoids. Colicoids? What do those bugs want with toxic waste? Food, sir. Our surveillance satellites have recorded them feeding on the toxic waste. We suspect they've been designed to eat it. Why would they be designed to eat waste? It does seem like a strange thing to do, Captain. It's a guess. The toxic waste resistance may have been an unintended result. Or the Balmoran scientists were insane. I personally prefer the term, differently rational. Well, whatever you call it, it might be just what we need to crack this thing. There must be a way for you to take on the Colicoid's resistance, so you can enter the vault. Captain, where were these creatures created? Well, I can't say for sure, but there's a research lab not far from here that was overrun with Colicoids as soon as the Balmorans abandoned it. But the Colicoids are vicious creatures. Just one of them tore apart a whole squad.
I think I can handle a few bugs. If you can get into that lab and find out the Colicoid secret, we'll do what we can to get you into that toxic pit. Sir, even if we find out what causes this resistance, we don't have the... We'll worry about that later. Right now, our Sith friend has to get into that lab and find out what the Balmorans did to those creatures. Major, if we don't get those supply vehicles... My men are working on it, sir, but until that shipment of plasteel I requested three months ago comes in... I don't care! Tear it off the walls if you have to! It's not wise to keep a Sith waiting. Don't worry about the Colonel. He's loud and impatient, but we all are these days. What with the supply shortage? Now. Did you manage to find anything out of the lab? Captain Ilun and I have been doing our own research, but we haven't discovered much. A lot of data there. Not sure how useful. Have a look at this, Captain. I, I can't make head or tail of it. Hmm. This confirms our suspicions. The colicoids were being mutated to clean up the waste, and it looks like the chemical mutagen they were using could theoretically work. Well, that's it. That's our solution, right? We just replicate this chemical mutagen. Um, sir, there's a problem. Our chief scientist defected to the Republic a few months back. We can't begin to replicate, let alone test the serum without him. I guess we need to undefect him. Undefect indeed. <laughs> You certainly have a way with words, Sith. The scientist's name is Yanis Tirek, and he's still on Balmora, in a Republic research base out near the Toxic Lakes. All right, Sith. It looks like you have your next objective. You find this scientist, you subdue him, my men will bring him back, and we'll get you your chance to swim in toxic waste. The Republic's going to taste blood tonight. Oh, and Sith, hurry back. I just got word that my son passed his trials on Coriban, and is on his way to Balmora. I don't want you to miss him. Well, well. I should have known Bessica wouldn't let me go without a fight. But sending a Sith seems a bit like overkill. Are you here to kill me, or are you going to torture me first? My patience is wearing thin. I risk my life to defect to the Republic. You think you can scare me into returning? There are fates worse than death, and being an Imperial scientist is one of them. Don't you think you're being a little dramatic? I won't go back to that place. You don't know what it's like. We're not expected to be men. We're machines, slaving day in and day out. No intellectual freedom, no creativity. I'm tired of building killing machines. I want to do some good for humanity. I can't go back there. I can promise you I'm not trying to build a killing machine. I know better than to believe the promises of a Sith. You'll have to kill me, 
I'll never return to the Empire willingly. If I wanted to kill you, you wouldn't still be talking. Sith, Major Bessica sent us in after you to collect the scientist. Take him, but don't hurt him. Of course, we'll see you back at Sobrik. Sith, I'm sorry to interrupt you. I'm sure you're very busy. Uh, congratulations, by the way. I heard that you found our scientist. We'll whip up that serum and get you into that toxic waste pit in no time. But there's a problem, and I need your help. Just have the serum ready for me. You'll get your serum, but you need to help me. It's my son. He arrived shortly after you left for the research facility, but then he went after some holocron, he called it. A few minutes ago, I got what I think was a distress call from him. He's in trouble. He can handle himself. Look. I didn't want to have to do this, but it sounds like I have no choice. This is my son we're talking about, and if you want your serum, you'll save him. If you put it that way. I'm sorry it had to come to this. I like you, I, I really do. We narrowed the origin of the distress call to an abandoned building near the Republic Crater outpost. I'm guessing the Republic's captured him, which means a lot of fighting to free him. Good luck. You... you... The old man sent you for me, didn't he? He must have gotten my distress signal. I guess the old fool's still good for something. You're the Sith he's told me so much about, aren't you? What were you doing here? I wasn't visiting the old man, that's for sure. My master sent me here for a holocron the Republic dug up some place or other. I got the holocron, now all I have to do is get out of this place. What purpose does this object serve? It's not the Holocron itself that's special. The Holocron's a map. It's supposed to point to a powerful weapon of the dark side that's hidden here on Balmora. The weapon's mine if I find it, which I will, now that you're here to free me. I'll free you if you give me the Holocron. Ha! I'm not afraid of you. I'm injured, but I'm still Sith. I found the holocron. It's mine. Now let me out of here. I'm really too kind. Looks like you and my old man are one of a kind. Both weak. I'll be sure to tell him what you did for me. Maybe he'll reward you. You should have more respect for your father. Respect him? I'm Sith. I don't respect what I can just as easily kill. Hey! 
Hey, if it isn't the hero of the hour. I just heard from my son. I knew you wouldn't fail me. I was hoping he'd come back to base so we could catch up, but he said he was busy. Do you think he's okay? He will do what he wants, and he can handle himself. Ah, I see. Important Sith business, eh? Well, the Sith are the heart of the Empire. But you're not interested in any of this family stuff, I bet. You're here for your serum. Is it ready for me to use? Sure is. But I think Dr. Tirek here wants to have a word with you first. Dr. Tirek will fix you up with the serum and explain what we know about it. So let me get this straight. You kidnapped me away from the Republic so that you could go skinny dipping in a toxic waste pit? A Sith's got to find some way to unwind. You're aware that this serum has never been tested on humans, right? I mean, it should work, but it was designed for colicoids. What are you getting at? This serum could kill you before you even begin. And it might not be the most comfortable of deaths. Thank you for warning me. All right. Well, I warned you. I can't expect to change a Sith's mind. This vial contains enough of the serum for about five doses, but I'd use it sparingly. You'll have to fight through the main Republic base to get to the vault, but that's the least of your worries. The colicoids around the vault are the real concern. You may have your freedom, Doctor. Thank you. What? You're not serious. I mean... You're Sith. You can't be serious. You'll let me go back to the Republic? I'm being very serious here. Look, you'll know I'll never make it out alive. So if you're serious, you'll authorize a shuttle for me out of here. I assure you, no tricks. Just let me get the transport officer on the holo here. There we go. Dr. Tyrek, Sith, Captain Rollo at your service. What can I do for you? So let me get this straight. You kidnapped me away from the Republic so that you could go skinny dipping in a toxic waste pit? A Sith's got to find some way to unwind. You're aware that this serum has never been tested on humans, right? I mean, it should work, but it was designed for colicoids. What are you getting at? This serum could kill you before you even begin. And it might not be the most comfortable of deaths. Thank you for warning me. All right. Well, I warned you. I can't expect to change a Sith's mind.
This vial contains enough of the serum for about five doses, but I'd use it sparingly. You'll have to fight through the main Republic base to get to the vault, but that's the least of your worries. The colicoids around the vault are the real concern. Enough of your warnings already. Good riddance to you, Sith. Hope whatever you're after is worth it. Sith! Leaving us for good, eh? Got what you came for, I take it? I appreciate the help. The Sith are the heart of the Empire, I always say. Anyway, we wanted to see you off. Uh, give you a pat on the back and uh, a little parting gift. You're too kind. Really. Safe travels, Sith. It was a pleasure working for you. And thanks again for saving my son. I found the artifact. Excellent. I trust Major Bessica was a good help. I've traced another artifact to Nar Shaddaa, but I'm still trying to locate the other two. I'll see what I can learn while you're on Nar Shaddaa. Now hurry, there can be no gain without haste. 